Hey Siri, how is the weather today? Okay, here's the weather for today. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Siri. It's 32 degrees outside and it's quite hot and it's quite a sunny day over here in Saudi Arabia. And I hope you guys are doing great. So welcome back to my channel again, F Shake Excel Master and Farah Shake with you. What happened if I'm going to talk about a really hot subject in Excel? Have you come across a situation where your data is not helping you to do the analysis? You have to finally give it up. There is no thing called give up. You have to always keep trying. There are always options available. The only thing is that you need to try. So my friends, today I would like to thank Ms. Joy for sharing such a wonderful question on the Excel group. And let me show it to you her question. Here it is. How can I format into decimals? Because not every row is formatted in the same way. And really, it's really difficult. Yeah, to be very honest, it's very difficult, my friends. You must be thinking that you will be using left function, find function, but how much? How much you're going to stress yourself? No, that's not the way. What she's trying to do is this is a time. Okay, she got it from a system, from her ERP. And now she wanted to convert into a decimal value, decimal hours. Basically, she wants to convert this entire value into a decimal hour. So I got a solution for her through Power Query. And that Power Query solution will really blow you off your mind. So let me show it to you here. This is what she was looking. As soon as she enters over here any data, it has to get converted over there. Okay. So let us get back to our business. We'll go to data. We'll go from table flash ranges. We got our data loaded into the query editor. Now we are going to say add column. We're going to make a duplicate column. Oh, before that, the name. We're going to give a nice name. We're going to call it as Faraz. Now this, we are going to transform split columns by delimiter and by space and each occurrence yes we want to split them on each occurrence wow wow that was amazing so it has split it on each occurrence it's over here we'll be selecting this column and yeah you're right because i'm going to unpivot those columns unpivot other column this is really a powerful thing in excel in power query i really love to do this wow we got the data stack one below another we'll remove this and we are going to see a duplicate column okay this one we are going to change the data type into a whole number and we are going to say transform replace the errors by null we need these null values because they are going to play a very important role again add column duplicate column we will select this column okay value column value comma copy right click go fill down why did i do fill down because i need to match the minutes to minutes seconds to seconds now I will just select the null value so I got those combinations what is minute what is seconds so we will be selecting the value column right click and transform into lowercase that looks wonderful and we are going to select transform extract and extract the first characters and how many characters we want to extract we want to extract one but why i'm doing this i'm doing this because i want to convert this minutes into that hour value seconds into that hour value and if you see the data consistency m for minutes s for seconds d for day h for hours i would be not having anything else in this data so i would just make my work a little simple Wow, 
and I don't need this column anymore I will remove it and I will say time type and this column I will call it as a value that makes more sense so we're going to add a custom column a simple custom column and we're going to say conversion and the conversion should be and we're going to write a if statement if my time type is equal to day that's b then my value should get multiplied by 24. why it should be 24 because one day is equal to 24 hours so if my data is having somewhere two days then it should read it as 48 hours okay else I'll just copy it so it will be a little faster paste so now again if my time type is hours then I don't need to multiply it by anything I just want that value okay and then again if my time type is in minutes then I need that minutes to be divided by 60 okay because we need to convert that value into an hour value again the same way if it is for seconds then that seconds has to be divided by 3600 seconds else the value should be none okay wow we got this conversion value over here we don't need these anymore we can remove them group by conversion sum and this conversion okay bingo this is what I needed yes yes we got it we got it and power query have done it for us you don't have to waste your time and writing a code a long code a very long long code on VBA to get those dates and that power query can do it for you my friend let us close and load to and let us load our data somewhere here okay existing workbook wow wonderful 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 let me add one more data let us say 45 seconds we'll go here refresh wow <laughs> Let us add it in a reverse order. Somebody writes it. 65 seconds, 20, 33 minutes, two days. Just wait and see the magic. Right click, refresh. Boom. Here you have it, my friends. Isn't it amazing, amazing, my friend? This is really cool. This is really cool. Now you don't have to waste your hours writing those long VBA codes because Power Query can do it for you. My friends, I'm not discouraging the power of the VBA. VBA can also do it. But what suits best for you, what gives you the solution faster, go for that. This is what I always say in my videos. I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button share this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button and please post your comment below this video and let me know what you like about this video and what you don't so signing off for today your friend Faraz Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master and stay connected have a great day and happy learning